Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. Well, things are still going on, still happening in our little colony. Uh, we hooked up the Vanometric power cell. It looks like it produces 500 watts. I don't know if that's just going to be continuous forever or how that uh, how that works exactly it says 500 watts output which is pretty good because I was just contemplating building a steam geyser right here uh, but this is certainly gonna tide us over until then we took out this poison ship all these mechanoids as well Marjo is trying to bring Osborne back which not sure why uh, she's being so slow but I may have to have somebody else do this because... Okay, no. He's fine. He's perfectly fine. Hubbard, you're typically awake and running this time of day anyway. And she has a bionic leg, so she should be able to move quickly here. Um, I was told that this butcher table is actually causing a lot of food poisoning. That, um... If it's in the same room as the stoves, it causes problems, so we're going to tear that down. And we're going to build one out here. We have a Soothe for females, that's good. I always like the Psychic Soothes. Very nice. Coley was treated. Could trade that out. It's still at 90%. So I don't know if it's quite worth it or not. He is trying to have a major break risk, which is not ideal. Uh, it says Osborne doesn't have a weapon, and I'm pretty sure that Marjo doesn't either. Oh, come on, Ilarion. I know you're better than that, buddy. Okay, the walls are rebuilt already. Got a large herd of unprovoked boomalopes moving through. Man, we are definitely lacking in the uh, full connectivity of our electrical system, which is a bit of a shame. Cleaning sand. Uh, let's see if we can get her a good weapon. Here we go. That probably used to be Osborne's gun. Who knows? I can give him this heavy SMG though, I think. That may suit what he's capable of for right now. Osborne needs treatment. That's probably for the muscle parasites or whatever it was. Yeah. Wow. There are certainly a lot of boom rats in the area. It's always a bit concerning. Okay. Everything looks pretty good. We've got two pregnant elephants, which is pretty good. Not all of them are trained for everything quite yet, though. So that could improve, I would say. Let's see if we hunt some of these elephants. I think Tony is a primary hunter right now. But if we hunt those elephants down there, we will have plenty of food for a while. And we need uh, to head out pretty soon, if I remember right. 
not for any pressing timed event, but they had a bionic arm and leg over here at Edder at the river. So I think we need to go trade with them as soon as possible. As a matter of fact, I could probably get that going right now. Oh, look. A psychic emanator. We've got an ambush waiting there. Okay. So here's what we're going to do then. We'll take Koth. Our Joe can go. Hubbard, sure. I think Tony Ilarion will stay. Coley can go. And Osborne, I think, can go. So that's five folks going. That leaves us Ilarion, Tony, and Lynx to defend. So that's going to be fine. We take all of the pemmican that we got. It's only four days worth of food, which is not impressive. And that only gives us an extra day. That should be fine. Uh, then we just want to take with us... Let's see. Yeah, I just passed the herbal meds, but we're going to take some of these with us. Maybe just 20. We'll be fine. Um, and then... Silver. I'm pretty sure. We'll take a couple of scyther blades. Here's a, the Gladius. I need to find that because I'm pretty sure that belongs to Lynx. And it will probably do more damage than the one that he's got, which I think is this... A normal Plasteel Mace if it's not this one specifically. Uh, is there anything else that we really need to take with us? Maybe that. This one. This is a dead man's vest. Let's get rid of it. We get a little bit more money if we uh, take things out. Uh, take things to other people. I guess we could go ahead and sell the shield belt since it's down to 51%. Nobody's going to want to wear it. And so if we come across another one uh, that's in better condition... We can, we can do that. Let's take something like, what? Too much? All right, we're gonna need room for that one thing, so let's just go 7,000. There we go, that should be fine. And we want to exit out the northwest corner, except Come hungry very quickly. Confirm. That's fine. Okay. So they're gearing up and getting ready to go. Colonists will take the assigned items and leave as soon as possible. Good. Good. All good. What is this? Neutro mean? 121. Just sitting there. Uh, Wooter. If you would bring that in. Oh. No accessible place to store it. Let's store it here. Um, I don't think it's under manufactured. Oh, it is. But I don't think that we can manufacture it. A synthetic precursor chemical, useless on its own. Many drugs require it as an ingredient. But yeah, I don't think that we can make it uh, ourselves. Oh, I haven't researched the brewing yet. And I think this elephant is trying to eat these psychoid leaves. Um, excuse me. Not advisable while you're pregnant, I would say. I guess you can do what you want, though. I mean, I'm not going to judge or anything. Okay. There are quite a few ostriches. Some emu as well. Tony needs to practice up. These elephants are still alive, so he must be uh, around here somewhere. There he is. Getting the boom rats. Okay, we want we want to allow rotten uh, in here, but I don't think we're going to accept 
animal corpses, we should just increase this to preferred priority. So he brings them over here instead of right here, I think is what we need to do. And then we also need to tell them to run up here and attack the item stash. Yeah, one day to destination. So it's only going to be one day to there, uh, less than half a day to there. We'll see if we have enough food to get here and then back and do a whole trading route. We might even try to attack this outpost. An excellent shield belt as a reward for Lynx. Even though he's not on the, uh, on the trip right now. Oh, let's try to find that Gladius if we can. Superior Gladius and try to compare it to the weapon that he has now. See, I don't, I don't see it anywhere. I think if it was counting it as something that we could trade or sell or whatever. Get out of my gardens, you big jerks. I would think it would be in one of the stockpiles or another. Elephant in the way? No. I've probably passed over it a dozen times. Oh, I never rebuilt the stuff up there. What is this that's being built? Component? Yeah, I just don't see it anywhere. I really thought it would be inside of a stockpile. And I'm trying to think also, um... Oh no. Taicho is trying to run away, but he's uh, going the wrong direction to get any sort of assistance here. There we go. Let's kind of kite it around, Taicho. You're doing a great job, buddy. Nice. That worked out pretty well. I figured that would, uh, happen. We should be okay here. Yeah, that slowed him down a little bit, which is nice. Is this a friendly elephant? It is. Oh man, Illyrion is a little bit slow peg leg and a prosthetic leg, so that's why. Tony's being trailed by this right now. <laughs> Doesn't even seem to mind. Oh, I thought for a second it was about to start prioritizing my turrets. It is going after Illyrion now, though, it looks like. And Taicho should be fleeing from danger, right? Yeah, he is fleeing. There we go. It is still after Illyrion, though, it looks like. Try to get past the sandbags first. Run! Run! Should be able to take him down pretty soon. 
I may have to enlist the uh, aid of the turret, though. All right. Let's try to get way down here first. Maybe the turret will try to uh, shoot at him a couple of times before he gets over here. Nice. Perfect. And he's going to sleep. Fantastic. All right. All right. Tony's getting rid of a boom rat. That's pretty good. There's some more over here still need to be gotten rid of. Um, I wonder if giving him a better weapon would be advisable. One with a little bit more range, accuracy and all that. I think that's about the best one that I've got, besides sniper rifles, and I don't think that their uh, fire rate is high enough. Not for my liking, anyway. We definitely need to get rid of this cougar, that's for sure. Larion, you're sowing this area. Okay. Oh. Okay. We've got a uh, caravan in place here. Some kind of ambush is waiting for us. Uh, from what I can see here, I think running... Everybody into this hole over here will be fine. Kind of draw them out around the corner and give them a good heavy barrage if we can. Osborne, up close a little bit, Coley. I don't know if behind this tree is good because if she's shooting past Osborne, there's a pretty high chance that she's going to hit him. Uh, Hubbard there, probably. Or Joe there. Osborne, how about you come over here? And Koth, you're going to be our bait. Oh, it's Scythers. This is not good. This might not be the best strategy after all. Um, we may want to seek some heavier cover. They have such long range, though. Um, I don't want to get caught running around here or something. And get totally destroyed. We definitely need some cover, though. So, Coley, maybe you could hang out there for now. Osborne, you're the slowest of us. We'll try to get up here. Uh, Marjo behind this one, maybe. Koth back here, possibly. And then Coley can provide a little bit of cover fire, maybe. Maybe not. Got him pretty well. Oh, come on. Marjo, hang in there, girl. Right leg. Come on. Just one more. Take him down. Nice. Oh, wow. Ouch. That's pretty hardcore. Um, Osborne can't help himself. Marjo, I just hadn't hadn't uh, activated it before. 
Okay, so is she carrying any medicine? She's not. Uh, she is. Coley is. Marjo. Already doctoring herself. Good. Okay. Koth and Hubbard and Coley. Go ahead and come down here then. Uh, Osborne, you can be undrafted, but wait around for a second. Who dropped, uh, Osborne did? Incapable of manipulation? Because his arm was destroyed? Or, or not destroyed, thank goodness. Um, just shot. Okay, so we have this now. Psychic Emanator. Projects a soothing psychic field around itself. Improves the mood of anyone nearby. Works through walls. Beautiful. Okay. Too heavy. Too heavy. Aha, yes. Magnificent. Well done, Hubbard. Well done. Okay, I don't see any other... Madness around. Um, first things first, though, we need to make sure we can modify these. We can shut that one down. Okay, we can remove this part here. So, Koth, go ahead and get on that. Modify the scyther. Coley, you're good. Hubbard, you're good. Uh, we need a sleeping spot here. Well, let's go ahead with multiples in case somebody decides to lay down. Um, we need two of them to be medical. I want Osborne rest until healed. Marjo, if you would... Oh, can't pick up. Can't uh, pick anything up. It's fine. Shutting down Mechanoid, that's good. And then we'll pick these up and get that tended to. Osborne needs to be treated. Okay, and these guys, um, what was I trying to do? Take care of a cougar. That's right. Tony, you're consuming a meal right now. Ilarion, what are you doing? Wearing a rhino hide t-shirt. Magnificent. If rhinos weren't endangered creatures IRL, I would totally want to wear a Rhino Hide t-shirt. I think that would be super cool. Alright, Tony and I lay around. Here's a mace. Here it is. Right there. I see it. it. Makes me wonder if the Gladius is hiding around on the ground somewhere. It must be roofed, too, because it's not uh, degrading over time, it doesn't seem like. I can't imagine where it would be, though. Alright. I need you guys to come down here, then. We'll take care of this cougar. These can't both be our ostriches. No. Matter of fact, neither one of them were my ostriches. Okay. Anytime, guys. Anytime. Come on down. Seal your fates by shooting at this... Magnificent creature. Oh, wow. Still got quite a bit of range here. Right, here he comes. Get inside. Hurry, run. Hurry, run. Oh, no. It's no use. Tony, come right here. Hilarion, right there. Shoot it. Shoot it. Nice. Okay. Got a few... A few injuries there, but nothing too horrible. Oh, wow. Never mind. Hilarion's gonna die in 11 hours <laughs> if he doesn't get treated. So that's pretty serious, I'd say. Oh, Osborne. Have you been treated already? Yes. He got treated by somebody. Are you capable of arming yourself again? Yes. Okay. Get that done. 
Coldy is stargazing. We got the scyther blade there, so that's good. Um, Coldy, are you building up your needs? Yes. Good. Then Osborne, after you equip your gun, I'd like for you to pick up all of the medicines. Good. And then let's uh, go ahead and head out. Reform the caravan. It looks like we're carrying more than we can carry for some reason. Let's see. Arjo? Is it because of her leg? Is that why? You know what I could do? Um, I'm pretty sure if I build a campfire right here. Uh, and if I chop down, let's see, 71, 54, chop down this tree, maybe this cactus. Cost 25, I think. 20. 19. So, Koth, you will build this fire. Oh, is it raining? Okay. Now, I want to throw down a simple meal of this. Oh, man, I can't do it like this. Because I still need more wood if I want to build a butcher table. It's a shame. Uh, how do we, how do we, see, 95 wood, and it's only able to be made out of wood. Ninety-five wood. Wanted to wait till he had eaten something, and then we'll get him out of here. He's not that tired. We'll be fine. We may have to go for a few more trees as well. Yeah, 78. So we will need... Um, some more. Let's see, this guy. And this guy hiding. Yeah, Hubbard is a good cook, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. Eight. Pretty good. Eating agave fruit to Osborne? I don't think that's such a good idea, to be honest. Um, can you not... Can you not do that, please? Is she all loaded up? She is. Too heavy still. Go ahead and rest, yeah. I think that's going to be the way. There we go. Hubbard is making some meals. We'll probably just drop them on the floor, or she'll eat them. But that's perfectly fine. Unfertilized chicken eggs crashing down from the sky. That's perfectly fine. How many did that give us? Not many. That's okay. 
Yeah, her joy is really low, so we need to let her uh, satisfy that. We've got severe illness in Ilarion. Oh, he got to extreme blood loss before anybody got to him. He should be okay, though. He's been treated now. Tony, how dare you take up the hospital bed when Ilarion is in worse condition than you are? I'm ashamed. Alright. Oh, did Ilarion pass out sometime? Oh, Tony, come on, buddy. You're gonna have to run, man. Run, buddy. Run. They're all coming. Oh, no. It's faster than him. Even though they're both injured, this is not good. Lynx, buddy. What kind of damage does your weapon do? Melee DPS 4.5. Oh, he's so slow, too. Run, buddy! Nice. Okay. Solved. Problem solved. Nope, just haul this one back for right now. Oh, he even hit the thing. Thankfully, uh, it did not revenge like its friend did. Okay, well I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode for now. So if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.